Next on Street Smarts, in order for these players to win, they gotta decide who's more worldly. What covers most of the Earth's surface? I think Leanne does not know it. Japan. How many people in Japan? Probably like 20,000. There's a lot more. Yeah, okay, 14. What covers most of the Earth's surface? Water. And who's more wordy? To pronounce this word. Indicted. Street Smarts, think you've got them? Find out now. As you may know, I've scoured the planet looking for ordinary human beings and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a few fries short of a Happy Meal. And speaking of players, let's meet him. Hello, Johnny! Hello, Frank! Hey, Johnny! Whoa. And the beautiful Krista! Hello, Krista! Hi. Hi! And don't forget, it's all or nothing here on Street Smarts. The winner gets the loot, the loser gets the boot. Now, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I began at the State Fair in Milwaukee where I chewed the fat with Leanne. Leanne, where are you from and what do you do? Franklin, Wisconsin. I'm office manager for an orthodontic practice with teeth. Okay, you having a good time here at the State Fair? No. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I am. Leanne, if you could marry one famous celebrity, who would it be? Steven Seagal. Ooh, why, what is it about Steven Seagal? Because I love him. He's sexy and he's like, he's just got it all. Is he getting a little chunky? I don't care. He's hot. Okay. That's all that matters. He's okay. hot. San Diego, Lisa showed me an amazing feat. Lisa, where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Fallbrook, California, the avocado capital of the world. <laughs> I install gas and electric meters and I'm currently looking for a job. Lisa, I understand you can pick up things with your toes. Do you think you could pick up this microphone? Yes. <laughs> and how did you realize you had this special skill? Um, I learned it pinching my sister. Right. If you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? I think it'd be you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. And not to be undone, Eric gave me some lip. Eric, where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm an educational assistant at Dr. King Elementary. Eric, I understand you can make your lip go down to your chin? Oh, uh, yeah, I can do that. Ah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> if you could marry one famous person, who would it be? Lauren Hill. Oh. <laughs> yes, Lauren Hill. <laughs> You'd educate Miss Lauren Hill? No, she would educate me. Oh, okay. <laughs> joke about her album title. It's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We asked the same question to all three people in the field, and our players challenge is to guess who answered the question right. They're going to lock in their choice, and a correct guess will earn them $100. Yeah. All right, it's now or never. Let's begin. The first question I asked to Leanne, Lisa, and Eric was, who do entrepreneurs work for? <laughs> who do entrepreneurs work for? Flip up your paddle there, Johnny. Flip it up. There you go, buddy. Tell me, who knew it, guys? Leanne, Lisa, or Eric? Okay, and Krista's kind of changing her mind there at the last second. That's fine. You guys are locked in now. We have a Leanne and we have an Eric. Okay, and why do you want to see uh, Leanne's clip, Johnny? Why do you think she knows? Because I'm going to get $100. Oh, okay, she's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> who do entrepreneurs work for? People. <laughs> entrepreneurs work for who? Um, people. They work for people. That are professionals. That want to be just like them. It's the wrong answer, Johnny. I'm sorry. She didn't get to the 100 bucks. I'm sorry. Now, Krista, you want to go with Eric? You think he'll pull through? I want to go with Eric because, you know, he works in education, so he uh, might know something. Okay, let's find out. See if that strategy works. Who do entrepreneurs work for? Themselves. Have you ever thought about being an entrepreneur? I've thought about it. but um, What kind of business would you go into? It would probably have to be clothing. Because you I, are a fine-dressed man. Yeah, I, I kind of think so. Way <laughs> <laughs> to go, Chris. $100 for you. Eric did that. Okay. Here's the next question, guys, to all three. I asked them, finish the saying. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge... Hmm. So I asked them to finish that saying. So who knew it? What do you think, guys? Leanne, Lisa, or Eric knew that one? What do you think, Johnny? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to go for... Okay. I, I can't decide. Okay. Lisa, oh, okay. Well, no, no, it's gonna be Leanne. Okay. Are you? Are you? You're locked in now. You're both I'm locked, locked in. in. You're both with with Leanne. Uh, Johnny, why Leanne? Why do you think she'll know? She's older than Lisa. Okay. She would know it, and Lisa won't. Okay. Let's find out. <laughs> Finish the saying. Okay. Peas porridge hot. Peas porridge cold. Peas porridge. This. Peas porridge old. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. 
That's a wrong answer. You both had Leanne. That's not a correct answer. I know, that's a tough one. Uh, the correct answer, actually, Eric knew it. Let's find out with, uh, what he says. Finish the saying. Peas porridge hot, peas porridge cold, peas porridge in a pot nine days old. <laughs> what is this from? This is from Mother Goose Nursery Rhymes. I deal with K5, so I know that already. Right. <laughs> nice job, you know it. I personally didn't know that one myself. That's, a, that's one I didn't know. Okay, here's the last question of the round, guys. Johnny, we gotta get you on the board, buddy. She's got 100 okay. bucks. I asked all three, what covers most of the Earth's surface? Who knew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Leanne, Lisa, or Eric? knew what's covering most of the Earth's surface. Okay, you guys are both locked in. You're, both, uh, you're going with the same person here. You both seem to think Eric knows, but before I find out why you guys think Eric knows, let's see what Leanne has to say for fun. What covers most of the Earth's surface? Japan. Japan does? <laughs> Big. Yeah. How many people in Japan? Probably like 20,000 or something. Okay. Is that funny? Well, it's more That's like the wrong a, answer. It's a lot more. Yeah, okay, 14. <laughs> okay, all right. So uh, you guys think Eric did it? Let's find out. What covers most of the Earth's surface? Water. What kind of water? Salty water. You both had Eric. He did know the answer. It's water. Nice job, guys. You each get 100 bucks on that. The total's at the end of round one. John, you got 100 bucks? Not bad. Chris has got $200. All right, now that we saw who knew it up there, stick around. We're going to see who blew it. If you give somebody a eulogy, what have you given them? That's the toast at a wedding. So you're, you're sending them off with luck? Yes, yes, that's what it is. Yeah, when you get married, you might as well get a eulogy. Absolutely. Because <laughs> you're the Absolutely. Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our players. We have Johnny here. Now, Johnny, tell me about the town you're from. Well, I'm from Tarpon Springs, Florida. The sponge capital of the sponge world. Sponge capital of the world? Yes. Where our high school mascot were the fighting spongers. <laughs> yeah, we have football games. At football games, we go, soak them up, spongers. Yeah. Oh, nice. Just yeah. like I'm going to soak you up. Oh, yeah. Krista. <laughs> right. Now, Krista, you're here today, and you uh, do an impression of Rosie Perez. Hi, Poppy. I know you think you're going to win, but I came to Straight Smarts. I came here to win all of the money, all right? So whatever. Oh, very nice. Right. It's time to raise the stakes as we enter our next round. Who blew it? This time we ask the same question, only two of our Boulevard bookworms, one answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Johnny or Krista correctly identifies who blew the question, they get 200 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. And you can earn an extra $200 by, uh, by using the dunce cap right here. Uh, when you hear a question you think that will perplex your opponent, pop the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. They cannot answer the question, you get the $200. Now remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it carefully. Okay, guys, here's the first question I asked to both Leanne and Lisa, who we didn't see much of in the first round, which I'm keeping track of. All right, uh, I asked them both, Kathy Geiswhite's popular character, Kathy, appears in what comic strip? So flip them up, guys, tell me who blew it. Is it uh, Leanne or Lisa? Did not know the answer to that one there. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, you guys are both locked in now. You guys have a difference of opinion on this oh, one. No. That's okay. Now, uh, Krista, you think Lisa blew this, huh? Uh, yeah, because I think Leanne looks like... She kind of looks like the character Kathy. Okay, I mean, all right. You know, we'll why not? Lisa no, if she for looks it. like the character, she'll know it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Kathy Geiswhite's popular character Kathy appears in what comic strip? In Kathy. <laughs> That's the right answer, Chris. I'm sorry. She knew the answer. Looks like the envelope for you, Johnny. Let's check it out. Kathy Geiswhite's popular character, Kathy, appears in what comic strip? We just said Kathy Lee. There you go. It's about Kathy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the wrong answer, Johnny. Way to go. 100 bucks for you. We got a tie game here going. Uh, all right. Here's the next question I asked to Leanne and to Eric. I, uh, I asked them, today they're called flight attendants. What did they used to be called? <clears throat> so who blew it? Who did not know that one? Do you think it was Leanne or Eric? What do you guys think here? Okay, you guys, are both, you're both locked in. You're both going back to the well. You think Leanne doesn't know this, huh, Johnny? Oh, oh, no, I, yes. Well, you're yes, locked yes, in. yes, I think Leanne does not know it. Does not know, right. Yes. Okay, well, let's find out. <laughs> Today they're called flight attendants. What did they used to be called? Um, they used to be called stewardesses. Oh. Oh. You both had Leanne. I'm sorry, that's the right answer. She did not blow it. Looks like Eric's the one who blew it. Today they're called flight attendants, but what did they used to be called? 
booty grabbers. Because, you know, you can grab their booty and walk down the aisle. Um, they're called noodle women. Because when they walk down the aisle, they be slinging like this, you know? Because, you know, you got all that air pockets and stuff. <laughs> noodle women, okay. <laughs> All right, here's the last question around, guys. I asked this one to Lisa and to Eric. I asked them both, in slang terms, what's a chubby chaser? Okay, oh my God, you've been done, Johnny. So put the cap up there. $200 goes to Krista. If you cannot answer this correctly, Johnny, if you do answer correctly, you get the 200 bucks. I'm gonna read it again, you got five seconds. In slang terms, what's a chubby chaser? Her boyfriend. Well, what do you mean? We'll explain that, more info. You know, a, a guy going for the chubby cheeks. That is your correct answer. Way to go, Johnny! Put the cap on Lisa, the $200. $200 goes to you. Even though that wasn't a very nice comment about Krista, she's a very pretty girl. Okay, all right. Now, guys, who blew it? Lisa or Eric? Who blew it? Lock in, guys. Let me know. Start spinning. All right, we got a $500 to $200 game here. Johnny's in the lead. All right, you guys are both locked in. You think Lisa blew it? Let's see if she did. In slang terms, what's a chubby chaser? A chubby chaser? They run after whales. Whales are big. Yeah. How do you run after a whale if they're swimming? You kind of... Okay, right. <laughs> they're chasing whales. They're chasing whales. Okay, that's a uh, wrong answer. You both have Lisa. Way to go. You got $200 each. I just was enjoying watching her running. Okay, it uh, looks like Eric knew the correct answer. Let's hear it. In slang terms, what's a chubby chaser? That's somebody who like big women. <laughs> what about you? I like my women thick, and they're not quite big, so they're just thick, you know, just something to grab onto. <laughs> All right, thank you, Eric. All right, let's recap the scores. Krista, you have $400, but Johnny's got $700. Now that our players think they have a handle on our scholars, we'll see who they know best when we return. Everyone knows the Boy Scout motto is be prepared, but what's the Girl Scout motto? Sell, sell, sell. So what? So cookie. Right, they sell cookie. Yeah. Welcome back. Does anyone have horse sense at all? We're gonna find out because it's time to pick your pony. This time Johnny and Crystal will each choose one of the three eggheads for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks in round three. Nice money. And we're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round. It can only be used once, you guys, and it's worth $300 now. Now, the player who's trailing chooses first. Krista, that's you. So who would you like to ride out the round with? I'm going to ride Leanne. You're going to go with Leanne? All right, Johnny, how about you? I'm going to ride Eric. You're going to go with Eric. Okay. All right, well, Krista, you're trailing by $300. If you predict this one correct, we'll have a tie game. Here was the question I asked Leanne. What one-word expletive is Chef Emerald Lagasse famous for screaming? Oh, you've been dunced. Put the cap up there, Krista. $300. I'm gonna read it again. You have five seconds. What one word expletive is Chef Emeril Lagasse famous for screaming? Bam! Bam, she got the money, $300, here to go! Krista has tied up the game. Bam, now Krista, do you think Leanne got that right or wrong? You can take the lead here. This would be a huge $600 um, question for you. What do you think? She hasn't known Jack before, okay. so I'm gonna say wrong. All right, let's see. What one word expletive is Chef Emeril Lagasse famous for screaming? Oi! Oi! <laughs> the Jewish chef. Oh, Max! <laughs> she got it wrong. Way to go, Krista! Three hundred more dollars for you on that question. You have a thousand bucks now. Nice uh, block of the dunce. You got the lead. Wow, Johnny, you have to tie it up now. Uh, I gave Eric this question. If your lover gave you a little couscous, what did they give you? <laughs> What do you think? Do you think uh, he pulled that one off? What do you think? I think Eric's going to be wrong. You think he's going to be wrong? Oh, All right, yeah. for a tie game. Let's see if you're right. If your lover gave you a little couscous, what did they give you? A kiss. What kind of kiss? A slobber knocker. A slobber knocker? All up in my throat. Tell me what it would look like if you were giving a girl a slobber knocker. <laughs> Ladies, he's available. <laughs> that was advertising. That's a wrong answer. Way to go. You said you'd get it wrong, Johnny. Nice job. Yeah. Couscous is, um, they gave you a type of pasta. It's couscous. Okay. All right. Krista, here's a question uh, to Leanne. What does the H in H-bomb stand for? Do you think she uh, knew this one right or wrong? No more done. Hello. Johnny. Wrong. You think okay. wrong? Yeah. Okay. She doesn't know anything. Let's find out. <laughs> what does the H in H-bomb stand for? It stands for Hercules bomb. Hercules bomb. This is a very powerful bomb? Yes. When's the last time we dropped a Hercules bomb? Like, probably like in 1916. 
That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Krista. Another $300 for you. You're hot this round. Uh, the H&H &H bomb is? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. All right, studio audience. Way to go. Okay, next question, Johnny, for you uh, to Eric. If someone tells you to take a whiff, what do they want you to do? <laughs> well. You got this right or wrong, Johnny? I think Eric's going to get this right because he's just that kind of guy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can tie up the game. If someone tells you to take a whiff, what do they want you to do? They want me to take a sniff, take a smell with my nose. What's your favorite thing to smell? Mm. Strawberries. Were you thinking something else at first? Yes. What? Mm. <laughs> you got it right, Johnny. Way to go. Three hundred dollars for you. We got a tie game. Way to go, guys. You each have one more question in this round, and the dunce is gone. So uh, here we go. I asked, uh, or I showed Leanne this photo right there, and I asked her, who is this guy? Krista, does she have any clue? Wrong. This girl is like Looney Tunes, right. so okay. sorry. Okay, let's see if she, uh, see if she knew. Who is this guy? I can't see him. Okay, there you go. The China ambassador. The China ambassador, what's his name? He's ambassador. His name is? Chong Chong. <laughs> That's the wrong answer. Way to go, Krista. You <laughs> had an idea. Krista, Krista, do you know who that was? Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, yeah. exactly. All yeah. right. Last question of the round. Johnny, you can tie this up. We'd have a tie game going into the wager of death. This would be cool. I asked Eric, if a state trooper pulls a motorist over and cops a feel, what's he done? Well, I'm sure Eric's had a lot of that as well. Oh, no. All right. Let's find out. See if we got a tie game. If a state trooper pulls a motorist over and cops a feel, what's he done? He done a filter on their booty. Have you read a cop do this to you? No. <laughs> That's the right answer, cop to field. Johnny, you got it right. Wow, this is very exciting. We got a tie game here. Johnny, $1,600. Chris is $1,600. Johnny and Krista will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Leanne, Lisa, and Eric. I showed them all this card, and I asked them, pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Okay? This is very exciting. We've got a tie game, so stay tuned, because our players are about to make the wagers of their lives in our final round. The wager Don't miss it, people. Come on back. Johnny and Krista, here's the scoop. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. It's a great game right now. We have $1,600 for Johnny, $1,600 for Krista. Tag game. Don't forget, only the winner leaves here with any cash, which means it all rides on this final question. And here's a question I asked to Leanne, Lisa, and Eric. I showed them all this card and asked them to pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. All right, Johnny, you got 1600 bucks. Who do you want to see? Well, let me tell you. I want to see Lisa. You want to see Lisa? Yeah. Krista, how about you? Ty game here, a lot of money on the line. You're going to you go. What? You're also oh. going with Lisa. All right, nobody picked Leanne or Eric, so we're going to say bye to them. Tie game, 1600 bucks, big money. Let's watch this last clip of the show. Lisa, pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Indec... <laughs> indicted. <laughs> What's that? I we're very indicted last night, young lady. <laughs> okay, that's a wrong answer. The word is indicted as in, I was once indicted for a crime, which that's not a joke. Okay, that's a joke. I mean, so anyway, uh, now listen, Johnny, you went with Lisa. She got that wrong. 1600 bucks, what'd you say? I said Lisa, what'd you, you said it was wrong. All right, how much did you wager? How much did you wager? 1600 Bang! Oh, he went to 3200 Now, Krista, you also had Lisa. He, she got it wrong, what'd you say? Honey, I also said that oh, she got it wrong. you also said wrong. Now, listen, you had to wager all your money for a tie, which never happens. Doesn't happen a lot here in Street Smarts. Did you go all? Let's see it. I went all. She the did go all. We have a tie. All right. Listen close, guys. Everything is now riding on our tiebreaker round. Here's how it works. I'll ask one final question. The person to buzz in gets a chance to answer it or force their opponent to answer. If you buzz in before I finish reading the question, you have to answer based only on what you've heard. However, if you pass it on to your opponent, they get to hear the entire question before answering. A right answer is the winner and a wrong answer is a loser. Here's the question, guys. I'd get your hands near the buzzer. I'm gonna pick it open right now and read you the question. Good luck to both of you. Complete this McDonald's slogan. We love to see you. All right, Johnny, would you like to answer this or pass it on? Answer it. You're going to answer it? Okay, we love to see you. Smile. That's a right answer. Johnny has just won $3,200. What a game. We'll see you next time, folks. Smile. You're on Street Smart. All right, guys. Leanne,
pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Indicted. Eric, pronounce this word and use it in a sentence. Indicted. Okay, use that in a sentence. I'm indicted to do the right thing. <laughs> <laughs>